Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, we killed Auntie Ethel finally, and it was quite a rough fight. But uh, I still have more of the bog to explore, looks like. So I'm going to go do that. It looks like it might be a whole area down here. I don't know. But I also have this to connect. So let's go take a look around, shall we? Maybe we'll have something happen. I don't know. You are fucking kidding me. Oh, well, that treasure's staying buried for sure. Um, if nothing happens, I'll just cut it out right here. So that is a campfire full of blood. Actually, this looks walkable. Can I cast Perfect. guidance on you? It's just concentration, so it should last until broken. With haste. I don't know if there's anything that's gonna happen here. Old wooden chest with some thieves' tools. Cool. I jump to that. Oh, decrepit sanctuary, eh? Oh, there's. Ancient Mud Mephit. Well. Here's to death. That didn't kill him. Okay. I'll just run. Run up here. What is this? Woodwad. Looks like there's a chest. Eh, not too bad. These enemies, 42, that, that's gonna be the big problem here, I bet. And they summon more of themselves. Okay. Bit of an issue with that. <laughs> For sure. Uh, let's jump. And attack. Three damage. Oh. Oof. I've got to find her something better than that spear. And I use the bonus action. Healed for ten. Is that because he was in the tangled vines? This might be a... Yeah, okay. This is going to be a lot harder than I thought it was. Well... Let's just hope that the summoned ones don't, uh, can't summon. Twisting vines. Okay, death by a thousand cuts, are we? Well... I'll just start hitting everyone. Oof. Oof. Time to push my luck again. Okay. So I can Eldritch Blast. Muddy, eh? Muddy. Tax rolls against it have advantage. Oof. Cannot move. While the entity's attack rolls, dexterity saving throws are of disadvantage. Removes burning. And it becomes resistant to fire damage. That's still not good, honestly. Me and Shadowheart are probably going to die if I don't do something about it. So I am going to throw... Maybe I should drop it. Maybe I'll drop it. I'll drop... Uh, let me split item to one. That'll put it at the bottom, and then I 
drop item. And then I will move it to be right here between us. I will attack it. That did good. She is no longer in danger of dying. I think I will put this on myself to double my AC. Now I am at 22. She can use her mirror image. That'd be good. Gale is still in danger. Unfortunately. So is that healing they're doing? Oh, he has regeneration on him. Uh, if starts the turn on twisting vines, unless recently took fire damage. Okay. So fire damage is where it's at for these guys, apparently. Which I should have some fire arrows. That will do quite a bit of damage over here. Critical miss, you're fucking kidding me. Okay. Well. I'm gonna bonus action. Can't I just hit him? No, that'll put me... Can I jump in there? That'll take my bonus action. I'm stupid. Well, then I'm just gonna run back here. Maybe I can jump up there. Next turn. You're fucking kidding me. Six percent, twelve percent. Okay. So I gotta use some AOEs here. Ooh, this is level two. I'll do this instead. Your image gives me tons of AC. I will put this on you. That's good for now. Yikes. Okay, this is getting sweaty, for sure. I need to... Oh, step up my game, I was gonna say. Missed, but it took one of my mirror images, so now she's down to 24 AC. You, my good sir, have burning hands. Which I can do a lot with if I could get them out of... ...them being in the bad spot for me. Come what? On, stay idle. Don't I have a spell of Burning Hands? Or something? I have two. Okay. No, not what I fucking meant to do. I just double clicked it, which was a bad idea. Cast spell. Actually, I can get back in here. So I can actually move. Uh, concentration broken. Unfortunate. I am gonna use that scroll. I guess I'll take on these two. Uh, Shit, yeah. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can do that again. and get everyone with it. Drop item. Where is it? 
right there is fine, maybe? I don't have an action to hit it. I'll flourish it. You are fucking kidding me right now. This is a bit of a fucking problem. And they're gonna get hit with that AoEs. Okay, if I can get her up, she should still have her bonus action. And I could probably hit Xanros with a potion too. Uh, let me split item. Let me just take one. Starion. Throw. This says it's getting all three of them. I don't really trust that. That gets Shadow Heart up. Starion can do his own healing as long as he has an enemy nearby. I am going to... Oh, fuck. Too high up. Okay. Well. I'll call it there. Get him up. Yeah, those little guys are fucking nasty motherfuckers, but it looks like there's only one left. And I don't know how bad these tree dudes are gonna be. But I'm scared, to say the least. She still has her mirror image. Okay, that's fine. We've been muddy. Always have been. Uh, he has his bonus action. Which I will drink a potion for. Survival is all that matters. Yeah, clearly. Um. God, we still have. Why am I getting advantage from Muddy? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> um, is it better to just lay on hands, Shadow Heart here? So, it'd be Shield of Faith Gale again. I don't think it's going to be able to get to us, yeah. Lightning charges, muddy. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, he's muddy. Okay, maybe that's from the, uh, fire. He takes half damage. So maybe I should just do fire instead of... Maybe I should fire this guy? He's wet, though. I'll do this. I think that's fine. We really need to get rid of this guy, but can't do anything about it right now. Yeah, these have such shit chances. I'd rather heal. Gale. I only have one left. Take you. Okay. And she can stand to use a potion too. I am just scrambling. A lot of resources wasted on healing, and I should have done... Because I still haven't recovered from the anti-ethyl fight. So that was really... bad of me. Magic Missile doesn't miss. I've said that time and time again. And I want this fucker dead. 
and I want him dead so far away from us. Can't even catch my breath. Oops. 50 with disadvantage. I think that's worth it. Oh my god, did it. Wonderful, perfect. And then should I hex these guys? I'll probably hex him. What do you have stat-wise? Strength? Got really good strength? Well, it's more about what I want to do, right? I don't have really many spells that do saves. I could do a wisdom, but I no, I won't be able to cast any of these anyway. So it doesn't really matter. I will do charisma anyway. Or well, I'll just do strength. That is strength, right? Okay. Okay, now he's taking extra damage. Just a tad. Don't think he can get anywhere. He's still gonna entangle us, awesome. Uh huh. I don't know why that's going away so quickly. Disadvantage, because he's so close to me. Yep. Yeah. At least I can hit him from here. Excuse me? Okay, no. I'm biting you now. Can't target plants. You fucking son of a bitch. I should have just used that to drink a potion. That's uh, my bad. 6%, 12%. That's radiant damage. Hmm. Starion is super low, but I don't have anything I can really do with that. What takes my oath charge? Turn Undead does. And duplicate Duplicity. Uh, I guess I'll cast Blade Ward on myself. Just in case I do get hit. Which I didn't. Gale, my man. For the love of God. Please hit him. Oh my god. Another fight. Let's go. Eldritch blast him? Oh, he's too. I could spray him. But also spray him. I'll spray him. That'll blind him. That'll be good enough. I'll drink the potion. Starion's dead. Awesome. Save that death saving throw, though. So I want to throw a potion at him. Uh, split to one. I don't know if I have to keep doing that. But I don't want to throw... 27 fucking potions at him. Or 48 or whatever, you know. Get some back up. I'm ready. And then I have a bonus action to drink possibly my last greater healing potion. And I say possibly, meaning yes, it is. Okay. Still with the magic missile. Okay. Uh, I'm, I am gonna drink a potion for that. They're dying for me, all of them. Okay, I still have disadvantage because of the ensnare, I believe. So can I just attack him from here? Forty-five is not bad. It is bad. It's very bad. It's horrible, god-awful bullshit. 
Jesus Christ. And now they have a regeneration in that fucking thing. I really need to hit them. Okay. That works. Down to one. You fuck. It's 12, dude. I really can't fucking do anything. Oh, this one's good. That works. Firebolt does have a regeneration, but I'm at disadvantage. Fire hands. I cannot hit him without hitting the other two. If I stand right here. Nope, I can hit everyone also. What if I jump? Damn it. It's gonna put me over there. Okay. Just another magic missile, I guess. That does good damage. Now Gale is useless, pretty much. Disadvantage because I'm entangled. This is a charisma save. Motherfucker. Motherfucking fucker. Fuck. Fuck. Yep. 50% for 5 damage because I forgot it takes so little damage from slashing. 12% still. Better off doing that. 25%. Now, it's a bonus action to disengage. No, it's an action to disengage. Fuck it, I'll just... Oh my god, I got it. Holy shit. What a clusterfuck that was. Twisted branch. Twisting branch. It's club. Okay. Wood, wood, shield. Wood's ensnaring strike. Ooh. Very interesting. I don't... I, Shadowheart has the... Uh, gain temporary hit points. Do I want that plus one to saving throws? Yeah, because I'm probably not going to use the ensnaring strike. If I'm honest. I am, however, going to take a fucking long rest. Should have done this before. Oh, well. 52? Are you kidding me? Why the fuck would I do that? 41's much better. Auto select be damn, dude. Oh, I'm getting a visit from a visitor visit. I promised I'd be back. Hey, Goth Bay. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. You haven't been using the Parasite's power. You think you don't need it. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hey man, it was one fighter, right? Be able to help you in the Druid's Grove. But all she did was reaffirm the danger. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. So what should I be doing? I've been offered a greater power by my butler. <laughs> yeah. Ambition is good. You are resourceful and will gather many allies to aid your strength. Use them how you will. But whatever you do, 
A word of advice. Do not listen to that false butler. He knows nothing of what the tadpole is capable of. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. Huh. How do I destroy the source of the tadpole's magic? I am not sure yet. To find the answers, we must first find the source. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. Uh, my mind tells me to do foul, foul things. Are you sure your protection is working? I protect you from becoming a Mind Flayer. I cannot protect you from yourself. Fair enough. But I know what it is like to be burdened by forces outside of your control. We are alike. You and I. Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. Who are you, though? <laughs> What's going on over there? Is there anything I can do to help you? Tell me where I can find you. Where can you where no. can I find you? It isn't safe. The power I use to protect you. I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. Interesting. So Moonrise Towers has been said over and over and over again that we need to get there. I like that the goblins left this little thing. This freaking... What? Oh, that's the dummy behind it. I was like, what is my mouse over? Okay. Back to the bog. Where we have things to collect here. Light on my feet. No traps, please. Shadowheart wants to talk. Yes, ma'am. There's something I want to talk to you about. Something important. Well, now I'm intrigued. Please continue. I can never take for granted how someone might react when they learn I worship Lady Sharp. Easier to just keep it a secret than take the risk. But you showed you had an open mind. I'm trying to say that you've earned my trust in a way very few ever have. I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about me. At least from what <laughs> I can Why is my mouth open? <laughs> as long as I pray to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. 
That sounds right as hell. Scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a dark justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm, her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother mother, I should add. The Mother Superior, head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove... Inscrutable. Just kill her. I mean... Um... Do you think she'll ever relent? I don't understand why so secret about your ambition. Thank you for sharing. You know what, girl? Thank you for sharing. Okay. Oh, that's it? Just end the conversation? Fine. What's on your mind? I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. Okay. Cool. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> Oops. Wrong button. The sparkle hands. Conductive strikes. On a hit with an unarmed attack, the wearer gains two... Lightning charges. Ooh. All imbued with lightning charges. Attacks against metal constructs and foes wearing metal armor gain advantage. Wow. Do I have that on anybody? Because I do have those boots, I believe. Yeah, speedy boots. Speedy light feet. Dashing gives me charges. I don't need those missile snaring ones. These are good for you. Oops. And then these... I guess I'll put over here? Doesn't say Gale needs them anymore. So I don't know. Hold off on that. Anything else over here? Probably a whole other fight. Looks like there's stuff up here to get. Oh. Oh, you were entangled. I thought that was a survival check. There's a trunk over there. What's hiding here? Gotta wade through the water. Take my sweet ass time. And I wonder, I think this is as south as it goes. It seems. Yeah, this is so south. Let's go up here, see if there's something up here. Actually, check out this vase first. A vase. Nothing. Anything up here? Nope. Nothing. Oh, okay. There was roots. I could have probably gone up there doing the fight if I could have fucking moved. Jesus Christ. Well, that was a super interesting bullshit fight that's full of crap. <laughs> I hate enemies that explode when they die. That is the worst fucking thing. Especially when I can't fucking kill him at range. But okay. Looks like we got all this down. We might have to go up and check out this big blob here. And then seems like there's some more stuff over here. And then from there, just going north. I kind of want to explore the entire fucking region here. But, sounds good. I will check out these little ones next episode, but if nothing happens, I'll cut it out. And then we'll probably just head north. But, that'll be for the next time. You guys, you guys are so fucking lucky. Okay, everybody's over here. 
Well, let me. There we go. Are you fucking serious right now? I'm trying to get you all the picture. Anyway. I will see you in the next one.